Now, you know when life feels a little bit challenging? You know the kind of thing. And you're feeling... You know the bumps in the road? We all get a few bumps in the road, don't we? Things aren't going great, money is tight, the kids are a nightmare, and flipping Christmas is around the corner. Life can be tough, we know this. Life can sometimes be a little tough, oh yes. It's not always plain sailing, we know this too. But it is good to know that there is help out there and a rainbow of positivity is just around the corner. And it all comes courtesy of this man. How do we project our values, fight for our values, show our strength in an ever more volatile world, but also to show to the British people that their country can still do great things. And to be honest, not just great things, things that they should be able to take for granted, the basic functions of the state. God, he's good, isn't he? It's like listening to a wizard. Uh, it's like Jesus just stood up there at the podium and told it like it is. I'm getting emotional just thinking about this because I thought life was a bit rubbish and things weren't happening. And now Keir Starmer, our Prime Minister, has pitched up to tell us, actually, don't go with any of that because he's got a set of pledges. Oh, no, sorry. As Julia said, don't say pledge it. These are not pledges. Uh, these are aims milestones etc aspirations but they're not pledges because a pledge might just make you think it's actually going to happen if you read and look into what is being suggested here and we'll run through them then remember these are sort of aspirations okay so they want this to happen. He starts with talking about living standards. That's where he kind of began. Um, he talked about wanting higher growth. He said that Labour has pledged to secure the highest growth in the G7. Um, they're going to ensure that working people have more money in their pockets. He says the burden of the cost of living crisis is no longer intruding on them, and that's the aim. So... At the last time I looked, and this is the funniest thing about the governments, uh, governments of our contemporary era. He's not alone in this, in fairness. Um, he's promising higher living standards. Keir, that is literally your job. Part of your job as a government is to always want to improve living standards or to set the terrain. I don't want a government to do very much, to be honest, but I want them to set out the, the canvas, if you like, for which uh, people, companies, individuals, corporations, families, you name it, can grow. So the territory has got to be right. The terrain has got to be good. It's literally your job. He's talking about higher living standards, reiterating that Labour will secure the highest sustained growth in the G. So aiming for growth is not some kind of philosophical inner belief. It's what your job is meant to be. Secondly, he talks about housing. Remember, they've got a promise of 1.5 million new homes. He says he will work so that home ownership doesn't move further away from working families. Good luck with that, Keir. They cost a flipping fortune, even if you're buying a box. Thirdly, policing and crime. More cops on the streets. Well, you've only got to put one more on to fulfil the pledge, I guess. We'll wait and see. On education, he promises to ensure a record proportion of five-year-olds starting school ready to learn, to give children the best start in life. Now, if he's... To, I don't know... I'm confused about this one, because he's pledging... Sorry, it's not a pledge, it's an aspiration. He's aiming to ensure a record proportion of five-year-olds start school ready to learn. Well, before you start school, you're at home. What's he going to do? Send a minister around to all of our homes? Are you going to wake up in the morning to a knock on the door to discover David Lamb has shown up to read Little Red Riding Hood to your kids? What, what's the deal here? In the evening, Angela Rayner pitches up. I don't know what she would do to entertain your kids. Uh, so that's his fourth pledge. The fifth one is talking about the government delivering clean power. The target of delivering clean power by 2030. He says this is needed to make the country more secure in the face of threats by tyrants like Putin. Nice vacuous platitude if ever you saw one. And the sixth one um, is the waiting list pledge. Uh, he's talking about an 18-week target from referral to treatment. 
That's what he's looking at. Um, I don't know what this was all about, frankly. Was this meant to be uh, some kind... He talked for a long time. Even Lenin didn't give speeches that long, but uh, Starmer said, was about an hour and a half or something, that he was up there banging on about this stuff. Uh, most of what he said you would expect a Prime Minister to say. Most of what he said you know, any Prime Minister should be aiming to, you know, I want to make the, I want to make the NHS better, yeah, and... You know, give me some more mechanics on that one, please, Keir. So the question this throws up, has Keir Starmer regained your trust? There's one to deal with. 0344 499 1000. I want to take your comments on the general question of whether... I, mean, I sort of know the answer. Has he regained your trust? I'd actually like some analysis from you. You'll have heard clips and we'll play more throughout the course of the programme of what he's been uh, banging on about this morning. What do, you, what do you make of this curious man, Keir Starmer? This isn't like a Blair moment, is it? It's not like a new dawn, a new chapter for the history of the Labour Party. As, as Blair, you know, properly turned a page, love him or hate him, and we know how it turned out, but in those early days, 95, 96, and then into power in 97, these were huge game changers, seismic moments in our political story, and certainly in the Labour story. I just don't know what Starmer is. I don't know what he's meant to be, what his aim is. I'm going to make it better. It will, yeah? Th that's why you paid a six-figure salary, mate, to try and make it better. That is literally... Your job.